We're sure you're excited about the prospect of eliminating your dependence on glasses and contacts, and for good reason. Millions of people have had LASIK surgery with great success in reducing or eliminating their dependence on glasses and contact lenses. But having LASIK, like any medical procedure, has both risks and benefits associated with it. Even with the best of care, you could experience some of the side effects or complications covered in this program. Before giving your consent for LASIK surgery, we'd like you to view this educational program in its entirety. At the end of the program, there will be a short quiz, just to make sure you understand the important information presented in this program. LASIK was first performed in 1991 and has continued to advance with constant improvements in diagnostic and laser technologies, along with innovative surgical techniques and post-operative management protocols. LASIK is an acronym for Laser-Assisted In Situ Keratomalusis, which simply means to shape the cornea within using a laser. Several years before LASIK, Surgeons treated the surface of the cornea with a procedure called photorefractive keratectomy, or PRK. PRK is an excellent procedure and is still widely performed using a variety of names such as advanced surface ablation, LASIK, and epi-LASIK. But with LASIK, surgeons discovered that making a corneal flap and treating the inner tissue of the cornea instead of the surface of the cornea, offered patients less post-operative discomfort and a faster return to functional vision. LASIK is considered an elective procedure, meaning you don't have to have LASIK. After all, you could just continue to rely on your glasses or contact lenses to correct your vision. In addition to PRK and LASIK, there could also be other viable surgical procedures available now and in the future that could correct your vision. Your procedure will be performed in an outpatient surgical suite. As your eye is easily numbed with eye drop anesthesia, you should be quite comfortable during the procedure. First, a corneal flap is created using a femtosecond laser. It makes the flap by placing microscopic bubbles at a precise depth within the cornea to separate the corneal layers. This method is considered more precise and may avoid the rare but potentially serious complications that can occur with making a mechanical incisional flap. Next, the precise amount of corneal tissue is permanently removed with the eczema laser, which changes the shape and the focusing power of the cornea. How much corneal tissue is removed and the length of the laser treatment depends on the amount of correction needed and type of eczema laser being used. Treatment times can range from only seconds to a minute or so. The flap is returned to its original position, where it bonds without the need for sutures. After the procedure, you will be given instructions about any special medicines or treatments that will help the healing process. It is very important that you follow all your post-operative instructions and that you return for all of your follow-up appointments. Your results depend on following your doctor's instructions. You will need to have someone drive you to and from your procedure. Do not drive yourself until your doctor has told you that you have legal driving vision. After your procedure, it's best to go home and try to sleep for a while. Because it is possible to dislodge the corneal flap, it's important that you do not rub push or squeeze your eye. You may be instructed to wear an eye shield to bed for a while. Also, when you're involved in activities where your eye could be accidentally hit, you should wear protective eyewear. Most people resume their normal activities in a day or two. For the first few days, you may feel some scratchiness in your eye that can vary from mild to moderate that will cause some tearing and discomfort. This discomfort can usually be relieved with oral over-the-counter pain relievers and lubricating eye drops. If you experience pain that cannot be relieved by medication, notice an increase in redness or have any questions, you should call our office. How well you will see immediately after surgery varies quite a bit from one person to another. 
Some patients see improvement in their vision immediately after the procedure, while for others, vision may be blurry and fluctuate in clarity for several days to several weeks or occasionally longer, especially if they're being treated for higher amounts of refractive errors or have had previous corneal surgery. Both eyes are typically treated on the same day. However, should you have just one eye treated, you may experience an imbalance between your eyes until your second eye is treated. This could impair your ability to work and drive unless temporary glasses are used to minimize the refractive error between your two eyes. The goal with LASIK is to improve your functional vision by reducing or eliminating your dependence on corrective lenses. However, LASIK does not always result in 20-20 vision without glasses, and your surgeon cannot guarantee your results. In fact, not all eyes are even capable of seeing 20-20 or better. It is also possible for your post-operative vision to measure 20-20 when tested, even though your vision may not seem perfectly clear. If you still require correction to see your best after the procedure, the lenses in your glasses will usually be thinner and more attractive than the ones you probably wear now. In the event that you will want to wear contact lenses after surgery, you should be able to, though in rare cases it may not be possible. If your eye is overcorrected or undercorrected by the initial procedure, it can often be retreated with additional surgery, but not always. Some patients may experience an excellent initial result, only to have the effect diminish over time. In some, but not all cases, retreatment can help. Even for people who have not had laser vision correction, vision tends to diminish over their lifetime due to the eye's natural aging process. Everyone who has had both eyes corrected for clear distance vision, whether it be with glasses, contact lenses, or laser vision correction, experiences difficulty with their near vision when they reach the 40 to 45 age range. This loss of near vision is due to a condition called presbyopia, or aging of the eye. Around age 40, the lens inside the eye hardens and loses its ability to change shape which prevents shifting the eye's focus from distant objects to near objects. If you are nearsighted before surgery, you may be able to take off your glasses or contact lenses and see well up close. But after surgery, there will no longer be any glasses or contacts to take off. So if you are over 40 and have both eyes corrected for distance vision, you will most likely need to wear reading glasses for near vision. If you are over 40 and you want to be able to see up close and in the distance without glasses, you may want to ask your doctor about the possibility of treating your dominant eye for distance vision and your non-dominant eye for near vision. This is called monovision or blended vision. With monovision, your brain automatically selects either the near or distant image that you wish to see. Monovision can be experienced in advance of surgery with contact lenses and is well tolerated by many patients, but it may not be right for you. Almost everybody experiences some degree of visual side effects for a time after surgery. You may be more sensitive to light and you may see glare and halos around lights. Though these side effects are usually mild and temporary, there is the possibility that they might not go away completely. At night, many people, whether they have had laser vision correction or not, experience a slight blurring of vision. People experiencing this side effect may find they need to wear corrective lenses to fine-tune their vision for nighttime activities such as driving. However, with newer laser technologies, there has been significant improvement in the quality of nighttime vision after laser vision correction. Additionally, your eyes may feel drier after the procedure and artificial teardrops may be temporarily or even permanently needed to relieve this condition. Your doctor may also recommend other treatments to further reduce any dry eye symptoms. You should be aware that some patients have actually lost several lines of best corrected vision, although this is rare. This means if a person were able to read the 20-20 line with their glasses before the procedure, 
They may not be able to read the 2020 line with glasses after the procedure. This loss of best corrected vision can be due to scarring, decentration of the treated area, or irregularities in the surface of the cornea. There's also the remote possibility of infection, drug reactions, or other rare occurrences that could cause loss of vision and create the need for additional treatments or surgeries. It is also possible that you could have a degenerative corneal disease such as keratoconus, which could affect your vision in the future. Keratoconus in its early stage is difficult to detect and can develop in your eyes whether you have laser vision correction or not. Also, if you have any medical condition that you feel might put you more at risk, be sure to tell your doctor. Additional but rare complications include, but are not limited to, corneal swelling, ectasia or corneal thinning, appearance of floaters, retinal detachment, hemorrhage, and cataract formation. It is also possible that before or during surgery, the equipment could cease to work properly, causing the procedure to be stopped, postponed, or even canceled altogether. Please understand that it would be impossible to cover all known and unknown risks and complications that have occurred in the past or could occur in the future in any program. However, LASIK has demonstrated an excellent safety profile ever since its introduction in the early 1990s. Now, let's try a short quiz to see how well you understood the information. Please circle true or false on your answer sheet. True or false, LASIK will permanently change the shape of your cornea. True or false, your surgeon cannot guarantee your result or how well you will see after surgery. True or false, you may experience side effects such as haze, glare, halos, light sensitivity, and dryness of the eyes that may not go away completely. True or false, if your eyes measure 20-20, that means you will see everything perfectly clear. True or false, after the surgery, your follow-up visits are not very important. True or false, it is not important to wear protective eyewear when involved in activities where your eye could be accidentally hit. True or false, you should not drive yourself until your doctor has told you that you have legal driving vision. True or false, there is the possibility that another operation may be necessary after the initial procedure to obtain your best possible level of vision correction. True or false, it is possible that you might still need to wear glasses or contacts, or that LASIK could cause loss of vision. True or false, you may experience mild to moderate discomfort for a few days after the procedure. True or false, LASIK will eliminate your need for reading glasses when you are over 40 years of age and experience presbyopia. True or false, the program that I watched covered all the known and unknown risks and complications that have occurred in the past or could occur in the future. When you have completed this quiz, please grade your own test by comparing your answers to those found on the bottom of the page. You will also be given a written informed consent that covers additional information regarding risks and complications. Please read this document thoroughly and have all your questions answered by your doctor or a staff member before signing. Don't rely just on this program to make your decision whether to have the procedure. Thank you for your trust and confidence in choosing our clinic for your vision correction needs.